Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to convert my previous project which I had created for after returning and after throwing advices using XML version 2 annotation based. So let's copy this project and paste into the same workspace and I would give the project name as after returning and after throwing advice using annotation. Now let's close the previous project. And let me explain this project. Let me explain you what is this project all about. So here basically I had created this client project and from this client project I am making call to the one of the service layer method and while executing this service layer method I want to call advices like after returning and after throwing advice which I have defined in this class. So here we have defined two methods after returning advice and after throwing advice. So if method is being called this meta is being called and if this method executes successfully without any exception then this advice would be called and this print that this uh, message will be printed on the console in real scenario we can log this message into the log file and while executing this on another side if while executing this method if exception is arises then another advice that is defined as a after throwing advice method will be called and this message you can log into the file and uh, these are the beans these are the classes as a spring bean we have defined in this configuration file here we have configured eop config tag starts here and closing here between this we have defined eop point cut as a spec j expression and I have given the ID as select all and inside the EOP config we can define EOP aspects and this class this class we can def referring from here using its ID so this class basically contains the method and every I mean every method defined we have a different kind of advices so now here after returning and after throwing advice we have configured here so this is the xml based uh, configuration now this project i want to convert into the annotation based so if we convert into the annotation based then these are the configuration is not needed at all in configuration file so i'm going to comment this configuration file thanks now go to here now if you want to work with the annotation based spring aop then first of all aop module you need to enable by writing this tag aop colon aspect j auto proxy so this way we can enable spring aop in our this project now next thing we are going to define context colon component scan base package equal to some package I'm going to define so we have a basically this bin service class bin right so service class I'm going to annotate as the at the rate service annotation this is one of the studio type annotations and I would like to give the object name as account service so in bracket you can specify account service now this package we have to register for auto scanning right so go to here and I have registered so that at the rate service annotations will be scanned by this spring framework and your this bin will be initialized with this name now next bin we have a aspect so here this class has to annotate at the rate aspect to define as the aspect this now this class will be registered as a, a aspect 
right the ot aspect in the spring container now this class also i'm going to annotate that the red component right so that this class will be initialized in initialize and register in the spring container now this package also we have to register in the xml file so i'm going to register because we have used at the red component annotations now in this here now before this method i would like to use at the rate after return after return so so that we can define this method as the after returning advice and here we are we can specify point cut expression right so here point cut expression we have defined like this so let's copy from here xml so point cut expression so we can define like this similarly we can define this method as at the rate as a as a after throwing advice so we have another annotation is called after throwing advice right and again this guy will take this point cut expression so we can specify point cut expression now uh, look at here in the configuration file while defining the after returning advice we have given the method name and point cut reference we have given and i have give, given one attribute is called returning so point cut expression already we have defined and we have annotate this method as the rate returning and one more parameter here we need to specify is called returning and returning equal to name of this parameter that's it so configuration of at the rate uh, uh, configuration of after returning advice is done now here while defining the after throwing advice if you look into the xml file then here we have defined method name point cut reference and one attribute is called throwing so here also you need to specify one attribute is called throwing so throwing equal to name of the exception which you are passing as your argument that's it now almost we have configured we have converted into the uh, annotations with now this configuration i'm going to remove from xml file so now we will xml file is we have cut down some amount of code from xml file now let's run this application and see whether it's working or not now client program i am making call to this service method and here customer id i am passing this one so this customer id is already available in the map and in map just i am searching so customer id is not null right so this so this statement will not be executed so here just i am iterating the map and trying to find this customer id is available in this map as a key or not so of course this is available so this account account will be returned right so now let's run this app. so we are expecting to execute uh, after returning advice right so because this method will be executed successfully but i am getting an exception saying that some proxy related stuff so basically now your interface implements one interface your uh, interface i mean account service impl implements an interface so to enable i mean uh, cgl for creating a proxy object we need to specify one attribute along with op aspect the auto proxy is called proxy target class true if your uh, service class does not implement any interface then you need to, you, you don't need to specify this attribute but if your service class implements any interface then you need to specify these attributes now let's run this application Cool. So now, after returning advice has been called, and a state of object we are just printing in the 
after returning advice and this message we have printed in the uh, client program so after returning advice is getting called successfully right now here if i pass null right then if you pass null then in service class here we are checking customer id null then we are just throwing an exception then after returning advice will not be called right because this advice will be only called when your method execution happens successful and now your method will throw an exception so this advice will be called and these are the message will be printed on the console so let's go and run this application good so look at here so after throwing advice will be called now and we, we are just printing the we are just printing the uh, message I mean what our message we are setting in exception class so that we are getting printed so and this is the things which get printed printed from main method right main method we have used throws clause right so these are the things is getting printed by this so here I have configured, I, we have converted, I mean XML based after returning and after throwing advice into annotation based. So that's all I wanted to teach in this video tutorial guys. Now next video tutorial will discuss about the one of the most important advice is called around advice. This is the combination of above four advices before, after, after returning and after throwing advices. So see you there guys and till that happy learning.